The arts community in Connecticut is incredibly diverse, from world-class museums and Tony Award-winning theaters, visual performing literary arts, you really get some of the best arts experiences here. Where we're standing right now, the Wadsworth Athenaeum is the oldest public art museum in the nation. Can I stay with you in prison? Don't make me go. Finish me, Mommy. Finish making me grow. The Bridging Boundaries program brings arts to populations that are affected by incarceration, working with social service and the arts in partnership. And we realized how important it was to bring arts into the prisons. Walk a mile in my shoes. When we went into the prison, we started working with the women in dance, in spoken word, and in song. We went to York Correctional Institution, which is the only state prison for women in Connecticut. And there we worked with a group of women, and it became a, clear to us that it was a transformational experience for them and for us. The recognition from the NEA has been really important in affirming that art really can make a change in our society, that art is a change agent, and that even the most invisible populations can be brought forward in really important ways. After the Sandy Hook Elementary tragedy, the NEA stepped in and gave us the support that was so integral to the healing process in Newtown. In December 2012, a emotionally disturbed man went into a local elementary school and shot 20 students and six educators. In the aftermath of that, the Cultural Commission came together and tried to figure out how to help Newtown, how to help us go forward. The, there was a space in the middle of town that was contributed to us, and professionals from all over the state came to help us, to give workshops, to show paintings that were contributed, to give a place for people to come together. It was our hope by having workshops where people could come together that we could rebuild our community and our sense of safety. Intake works with arts and youth development programs to children from underserved backgrounds in Connecticut. And we do that through Native Instruments, being our Native Instrument Academy, our flagship program. We teach Western classical music, like Beethoven, Mozart, things that you hear in a symphony. We also teach Native Indigenous instruments that play folk and traditional music. And this is really the classical music of other cultures. Exposure to the arts definitely improves the quality of lives of our families and of our students. It makes them whole human beings. And it gives them discipline, tenacity, and that sense of empowerment, that cultural identity can only bring through the arts. NEA, you know I'm from Jamaica, and I just gotta give you a little love, Jamaican style. So happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, NEA, happy birthday.